Chapter on what is said regarding a divorce given in a state of anger, under compulsion or under the effects of intoxicants or insanity. And what is the verdict about them? And what if one ascribes partners to Allah or divorces his wife or does other things by mistake or through forgetfulness? We may refer to the saying of the Prophet, peace be upon him, the deeds are evaluated according to one's intentions, and everybody will receive the reward of what he has intended. Ashabi recited, Our Lord, punish us not if we forget or fall into error. Quran, Surah Al-Baqarah, Chapter 2, Verse 286 and what is not valid of the confession of a person suffering from whispers in his heart. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, said to the man who confessed against himself, Are you mad? And Ali said, Hamza cut open the flanks of my two she-camels, and then the Prophet, peace be upon him, started admonishing Hamza. But behold, Hamza was heavily drunk and his eyes were red. Hamza then said, Are not all of you but the slaves of my father? Thereupon the Prophet, peace be upon him, realized that Hamza was not in his senses. So he came out and we too came out along with him. Uthman said, A divorce given by an insane man or a drunk is not valid. Ibn Abbas said, A divorce given by a drunk or given under compulsion is not valid. And Uqba bin Amir said, A divorce meditated by a man because of the whisperings of his heart is not valid. And Atta said, If some started with the word of divorce, only then there is its conditions, otherwise not. And Nafi said, a man declared that if his wife went out of her house, she would be irrevocably divorced. Ibn Umar said regarding the above case, if she went out, her divorce would be irrevocable, but if she did not go out, nothing would happen to her. Regarding a man saying, if I do such and such a thing, then my wife is divorced thrice. As Zohri said, such a man is to be asked as to what he had said and what he had really intended in his mind while swearing the above oath. If he had mentioned a fixed time and he had really intended what he said when he took the oath, then his statement would be taken into account and would be considered as his religion and his honesty. And Ibrahim said, If someone says to his wife, I am not in need of you, then the verdict is to be given according to his intention. And a divorce is valid when expressed in the language of the nation to which the person belongs. And Katada said, If someone says to his wife, If you become pregnant, then you are divorced thrice. He should have sexual intercourse with her once only every time she becomes clean after her menstruation. And if her pregnancy becomes apparent, she will be regarded as divorced irrevocably. And Al-Hassan said, If a man says to his wife, Go to your family, then his intention is to be taken into consideration. And Ibn Abbas said, Divorce is only to be resorted to when it is very essential. But the manumission of slaves is recommended whenever it is meant for Allah's sake. And Az-Zuri said, If a man says to his wife, you are not my wife, then the verdict is to be given according to his intention. That is, if he has intended a divorce, then it will be according to what he has intended. And Ali said, Don't you know that the pen is raised from three, are exempted from the accounts, an insane person till he becomes sane, a child till he reaches the age of puberty, and a sleeping person till he wakes up? Ali also said, All divorces are legally valid except that of a person who has no intelligence for example, insane or drunk. Narrated Abu Huraira, May Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Allah has forgiven my followers the evil thoughts that occur to their minds, as long as such thoughts are not put into action or uttered. And Katada said, If someone divorces his wife just in his mind, such an uttered divorce has no effect. Narrated Jabir, A man from the tribe of Bani Aslam came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, while he was in the mosque and said, I have committed illegal sexual intercourse. The Prophet, peace be upon him, turned his face to the other side. The man turned towards the side towards which the Prophet, peace be upon him, had turned his face and gave four witnesses against himself. On that, the Prophet, peace be upon him, called him and said, Are you insane? He added, Are you married? The man said, Yes. On that, the Prophet, peace be upon him, ordered him to be stoned to the death in the Musalla. When the stones hit him with their sharp edges, he fled but he was caught at Al-Harra and then killed. Narrated Abu Huraira, May Allah be pleased with him. A man from Bani Aslam came to Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, while he was in the mosque, and called the Prophet, peace be upon him, saying, O Allah's Messenger, I have committed illegal sexual intercourse. 
On that the Prophet, peace be upon him, turned his face from him to the other side, whereupon the man moved to the side towards which the Prophet, peace be upon him, had turned his face and said, O Allah's Messenger, I have committed illegal sexual intercourse. The Prophet, peace be upon him, turned his face from him to the other side, whereupon the man moved to the side towards which the Prophet, peace be upon him, had turned his face and repeated his statement. The Prophet, peace be upon him, turned his face from him to the other side again. The man moved again and repeated his statement. For the fourth time, so when the man had given witness four times against himself, the Prophet, peace be upon him, called him and said, Are you insane? He replied, No. The Prophet, peace be upon him, then said to his companions, Go and stone him to death. The man was a married one. Jabir bin Abdullah al-Ansari added, I was one of those who stoned him. We stoned him at the Musalla in al Madina. When the stones hit him with their sharp edges, he fled. But we caught him at Al-Harra and stoned him till he died. See Hadith 5270.